There's absolutely nothing more refreshing than a blue raspberry slushy after a long, long road trip. How long have we been driving? I don't know, probably like 35 minutes. It's gonna be a lot of slushies. Well, these, these are delicious slushies. It was the best idea that we've had all day. It's very true. Lawn mower, but let's be serious. What if we get all the way out there and this girl is an absolute train wreck? I mean, I looked at her Facebook before we left and all she does is use the angles. What's the angles? You know, where a girl takes pictures of herself at an angle and posts them all over Facebook so you can't actually tell if she's fat or not. She could be a tank. It's a risk I'm willing to take. So in 2004, I watched the World Series of Baseball just like everybody else. 86-year-old curse, gotta make sure they beat it. I don't really follow baseball. Much rather kick back with a good magazine and watch Rachel Ray, which I DVR. I don't see what the problem is, a lot of guys do it. But uh, no matter how many Bucky Dents, or Bill Buckners they may be, gotta keep coming back every season. Told you what you need to do in these situations, my friend. You just need to get out there, experiment a little bit, you know, maybe wear some funny costumes, sow your oats, and just try the man whore thing for a little while. I tried that. Do you not remember Amanda back in college in my dorm? You know, that one night, finally got her back to my dorm. She was really into me. We're making out all hot and heavy on each other, like two people on each other. Pretty awesome. That is not how it happened at all. How do you know? I was there, don't you remember? Anaconda don't want none of Dude. that you got. Hey there, kids. See, what's that to do with you? Get out. Oh, I'm not gonna disturb you guys anymore. I just came to get my Finding Nemo, my 300 DVD. Grand title, lots of blood, some nudity. Not exactly in my top 10, but hey, you guys have fun. in the top drawer under my socks. I just want you guys to be safe. Very nice to meet you. you Cheers. Too. Cheers. Sorry about that. It's okay. I have to go anyway. No, I think you should stay. <laughs> You're a bad influence. I know. I need to be punished. Tyler. Look, Tyler. You're a great guy. I need to be fair to you. This sounds like a breakup conversation. I really like you, but honestly, I didn't expect things to go this far. What are you trying to say? There's this guy. There's a guy. He's in the army. He's in the army? Will you please stop repeating everything I say? I'm sorry. I know this is out of nowhere, but his enlistment is up this month, and he's coming back home. So we'll throw him a party. Welcome back to America, courtesy of Amanda and Tyler. Please don't make this harder than it is. Now listen, just think about this before you make a rash decision. You'll get all your facts right. I mean, for all we know, I mean, I'm, I haven't been in the Army, but it could be one of those don't ask, don't tell situations. Tyler, please. We're already looking at apartments in Maryland. Listen, before you walk out that door, just think about this, because if you do, all of this is off the table. I'm sorry. I never meant for this to happen. Coward. Yeah, I'm here to return your copy of The Good Son with Macaulay Culgan. Freak guy. He freaks me out. I'm going to take a kill of Mockingbird. Every time Mockingbird dies, we're gonna take a drink. Take it easy, man. I'm never gonna shake this curse, man. And not if you keep being old whiny McWinerson. I mean, let's be honest, you need to be optimistic. It doesn't get you anywhere. All the girls move away. Nothing, nothing can be as bad as the story that you just told me. 
He said, Ken, and it was. Don't you remember Julia? Oh. Julia. Huh. Silly. Oh, uh, it's really nice, but what's the occasion? Can you get me dinner for the girl he loves? You cooked. No, it's uh, Olive Garden takeout. But it's the thought that counts. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I have a confession. Something that's been eating at me all day. Oh, God. I know it hasn't been that long, but this just feels right. Tyler. No, no, let me say it. No. Uh, Please. I know you're scared, but I am too. Tyler. Will you marry me? I'm moving to San Diego. What? I mean, this is all really sweet and all, but I mean, we're really young, Tyler. I know, I know. It can never last. And, I mean, this is a really big job opportunity for me too. What? A Chargers cheerleader! Yay! What? Yeah. So, I mean, you really want to want to come out there and have to hang out with the players all the time and the other cheerleaders and have to sign autographs. I mean, I just don't want to put you through that. Yes! Let's do that! And, I mean, it doesn't really pay all that much, so we'd probably have to share an apartment with three other girls, maybe five, and... I don't see the problem! That's fine! We can do that too! And I probably have to work at a strip club, you know, just to make some extra money, so you'd have to come visit me at the club all the time. That's that's just not the right life. That's fun! Is this my dream come true? Really? Yes! Look, I will do whatever it takes to make you happy. I will hang out with chargers and strippers and cheerleaders. That's fine! Yes! Oh, that's really sweet. So, San Diego it is then. I just, I, I can't put you through that. I mean, I can't risk your happiness for my happiness. I just, I don't feel right. I'm happy! Look. Tyler, I'm just gonna go before I let you make this really big mistake. I'm gonna take my road and you take your road. No! You'll be so fine without me. Okay? Fly away, little bird. Fly yep. away. Wait! Roads? Where well, we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, oh please! Please don't go! Please! I love you! Tyler! I love strippers! Oh my gosh! Come on! Please. 